Greetings to you all. Uko lolu benani meaning peace be with you all. Okay, so don't be saying shalom and all those uh, Muslim words. Uko lolu benani means peace be with you. Okay, so greetings to all of y'all in peace. So today I'm talking about the Black Panther. Okay, as you, some of you will probably have noticed that it was a Kosa language, the same language that I'm promoting and showing y'all that that's the language of the Most High, that's the language the Most High spoke and Sindhisi spoke, okay? When I say Most High, I mean Soninin and in the creator of all things. That's the language it spoke. So, and that movie is made in that language, okay? All those subtitles you were saying there, that's a pure Kosa language, okay? Just that I cannot show them in here because they're busy blocking all anything that shows something that's not a trailer because this movie is still on the circuit. Okay, so today I'm showing you, I'm making a little analysis so that when you go and view the, when see this movie, it's a good movie, it's mean, well made, it's, you know, you can see it, but you have to take cognizance that the devil is the one that's managing the media, it's managing the movies, managing, so it's not just entertainment, it's more of revealing information. Okay, so I'm showing you some of the information that's revealed through this movie. Okay, and it's not a coincidence that it's a Kosa language. That information is revealed in a Kosa language because the target is the children of Israel. They have to know these things before the Savior, before Umsin, uh, before Usonini come back. Okay, before he come back, everything has to be shown, and the target is the children of Israel because that's the focus. If everybody, if anybody else want to join the party. They better be grafted into the fig tree. Fig tree is the children of Israel, okay? And the Kosa language is the language that I'm seeing within the children of Israel. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm overlooking other languages, but from what I see in the Bible, it's a Kosa language. And now these movies are confirming all the stuff that's being revealed is in Bantu language. And the Kosa is actually the one that's um, leading in that group. So it might be there's the Judah and then there's different other languages. I don't know, but I'm just showing, I'm just analyzing what I'm looking at here, okay? It's not my personal opinion, it's what I'm looking at and I'm showing you what's going on, okay? Now, first of all, let's look at, um, um, like I just told you now, this, 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 the purpose of this movie, of actually all the movies, okay? Now, whatever I'm telling you about this movie in particular, it applies to every other movie, anything that's exposed through the media. It's actually supposed to be exposed. It's not that they're trying to entertain us. The devil don't care about your entertainment. He just is doing his job of revealing things so the children of Israel can know what's going on. Okay, so that if a children of Israel still stumble up being acting crazy, at least they have been revealed what the truth and the lie is. Okay, what's going on in the underworld? So what this movie is doing is showing what's going on in the underworld. Okay, another word for underworld is mkatini. I don't know if you know that in, in the Kosa language or Zulu or, or Bantu in the Bantu language, it's called mkatini. That's called underworld. Okay, if you hear the witches, the witches be talking on the streets because now they have to reveal, called umpora. So they be talking on the streets what they were doing on in the underground. They were saying, hey, I'm cutting, we did this, I'm cutting. Oh, okay, so this, that's what y'all call this in the underground. Because that's where I get this word, this language, this word, this term, I'm cutting. So now this movie is showing what they're doing in Mkatin, okay? And now they're specifically in Kosa, so that the Kosa people, as they are the leader of the Bantu people, okay? I don't know if you understand that. You take on it. The Kosa people are the leader of the other Bantu people, okay? If you don't still don't get that right, watch my other videos, okay? It's not a self-proclaimed title. It's a natural progression to leadership, okay? They're not, the Kosa people are not taking the leadership. They're not compelling. They're co not coercively taking it. It's just a natural progression, okay? Even the scripture is saying that the Judah people, so whether the closer people is the Judah or they're just the children of Israel, I don't know. But from what I see here is Kosa language is the language that you're all, we are all supposed to be following and trying to see and try to understand, okay? So now, let's look at some, I mean, I'm, I'm just showing you examples in the same Bible where Sonin, the creator of all things, is speaking Kosa. Mene, mene, take a little puzzle. These lines here are lines that I've created in, in Kosa to factor in the words that you see in the Bible. You see in the scripture, and I showed you where in the scripture you find those words. And those are the everyday words that I use within, I mean, in context. Okay, you can use it in context like that. I didn't translate it. A bunch of closer person can translate it for you. Okay, but those words are existing words, not ancient Hebrew, anything. It's in the Bible as well. Okay, so y'all can look up those scriptures, those verses, and actually see, oh, okay, those words really exist. And I can tell you now, 
That's Tosa language. Same language in that movie is, okay? Same language that Most High Creator of all things spoke. Same language I'm seeing to see his son who died for us on a cross. It's not a cross, but I say a cross just for the sake of conversation. Therefore, same language, okay? Tosa, right? So you can read for yourself all those lines. I'm not going to go through them. I took that slide from one of my other videos. So you can go into my channel and find this video, okay? It's actually Tosa language featuring. It's actually there in the... Um, in my channel okay so you can see it in there but i just pulled up this slide just to make a point to say to show you that that's the language that the most high spoke as featured in the bible okay and now let's start with the main character tishala <laughs> now these people i don't know why they think people are gonna kill they just depend on so much of this air poisoning they think everybody's brain is gonna be poisoned by this stuff to not even see the, the obvious thing I'm sure, I mean, some, I heard some closer people here in the United States talk about T'Challa, 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 I mean, the teacher, okay, teacher, I mean, that's, that's what it is. So the main character is called T'Challa, okay, <laughs> I'm reading what I'm saying now, it's called T'Challa. Now, let's look at, look, just look at the picture, I mean, I'll pause it a little bit so we can have a look at this picture, and you already see what they're trying to say with this T'Challa thing, okay, T'Challa. Now, Look in Kosa. What's a teacher? Teacher is a teacher. Okay? Teacher, a teacher in teacher. I mean, you can see they could translate, got it for you. Right? Now, teacher. Teacher, that means teacher is teacher. Okay? That's a word that exists over there. It's a teacher. Okay? Now, let's go on. Who was nicknamed teacher in the Bible? Because now all of these people are, try, are, are revealing because it's only in the States. Let my people know everything they all been doing in the darkness because my people are not all of them doing witchcraft and stuff. So there's good people of mine that are supposed to know all this stuff that you all be doing in the darkness in the kingdom of darkness, in them cutting kingdom of darkness. So they have to reveal this stuff. Okay, they're not doing us a favor. They must reveal. Okay, it's only in his word. Just he says stuff and it must happen. Okay, or everything just crashes. All right. So who was nicknamed teacher in the Bible? Now. Let's look at some verses, clues. I mean, some of you already know what I'm talking about. Matthew, teacher. Rabbi, for you have one teacher. You call me teacher. That's John 13, 13 name. Look, teacher. So you already know who was called teacher in the Bible, okay? Plus, you look at that picture there. I just showed you a picture of teacher. <laughs> oh, I can't believe they even call him teacher. I just showed you a picture. Look at this picture, and you look at there. And you tell me who was called Tishal in that same Bible. Okay. Now, after guessing that, you tell me. Now, hmm, Cindy, there's the one and only answer. Cindy is the one that they're trying to show through. They're trying to reveal that. Why are they trying to reveal all of this stuff? I mean, besides um, the fact that they have to reveal, they have to reveal even the characters they have in, in the underworld. If it's a character of interest of, to us, us children of Israel now. If it's a character of interest, they have to reveal that character. We don't care about Buddha and whatever else they have there. But if a character of interest, they have to reveal it to us. Okay? We have to know everything that they're doing to our people, everything they're doing. We don't care about their gods, but things that affect us and are to talking about our people, we have to know. Sinus is one of our people, was one when he was on earth. Okay? He's one of us. So we have to know about it. So is this a coincidence that look at even at the picture of Rolling Stone, I mean that that, that magazine, they showing that man Tishala in there just to show us who exactly are they trying to show us in the underground that they have a fake for, okay? Because they have an imitation underground of that of that of the man who lived called Cindy on Earth who's now in heaven. They have an imitation underground there. So that's what they they're trying to communicate to us. Because they have to communicate. It's not that they're doing us favor. I repeat that. So there it is. I mean, look at that picture. They have a crown of thorns, crown of thorns, and the age group. It's not that gonna, he, that man is probably around 32. I don't know how old he is. I could quickly look it up. He's around the same age as Tishal. There we go. Excuse me. I'm seeing this was about 30 years, 32, somewhere there. A lot of people say it, when he died, 32, whatever. But anyway. What I'm trying to show you that they are trying to show us they have a fake scene this in the underground. Okay? So you all can understand that. So if for some reason or another somebody, one of the children of Israel is taken, 
Because now these people, if ever, it depends on what kind of what kind of sin. Some of the sin that we do on earth gives these people a loophole, an entry, or a door, okay, or a window. It opens up a gap so that they can get into our souls and take us probably to Mkatin whilst we sleep. And then you see in a dream and stuff. Now, if you happen to see, you go Mkatin and you see Umsindisi over there. And you see somebody, you already know, oh, okay, no, you, you'll distinguish between the fake one and the real one. Because it will probably look, somebody who look like Umsindis, the real Umsindis, but it will be a fake one. And that's the fake one they're trying to reveal through this movie. Okay? I'm trying to explain to you now so you understand. Because now nobody perfect. We all sin and shall fall of glory, whatever Paul is saying. So everybody sin at one point or another because of the earthly flesh that we were fighting against. Okay? So depending on the kind of sin, these people come and they might take you to, but they cannot harm you. That's one thing I can assure you. They cannot harm you. They cannot hurt you. They cannot. Okay, so they can't come and do whatever, and then they go back. And then you, they can convince you that, no, Msindi, this is said to you, you have to come back and slaughter this, you come back and do this. No, 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 you have to compare with the scripture. If that fake Msindi they have in the underworld that they are showing you is telling you something that's against scripture, then it's guaranteed that that was a fake Msindi, okay? So you all understand now. All right, so let me let you in in a little secret. Now, I'm seeing this, I do not think, now this is my personal opinion, okay? I don't think that he died at 32, as Luke and them be implying in some preachers, okay? This is just a little thing that I want to share. So I think he died close to the age 50, because one, we know I'm seeing this, he did a lot of preaching before he died, okay? And he started his 12th, his, his delegate, when he was 32, 33, somewhere there. Okay, so now we know in the Bible it's written that he did a whole lot of things such that even the earth, the whole world cannot contain the writings. That's a hell of a lot. Now, nobody can do things in two years, in just two years, because now they say, no, he, he started his ministry at, at 30, 30, and then two and a half, three and a half, 33 and a half, probably died. No, no, it didn't take him three and a half to travel the whole earth, collecting the children of Israel, putting them in Africa, in tribes, back into their country, the Bantu area, which they are currently staying in right now as we speak. The land beyond Kush, the land south was to Ethiopia. That's the land that Bantu people will find them. She was right. Msindi, he collected them and put them in there. It, it didn't take him three years to do that. And it says in the Bible, he did a whole lot of more things that are not even included in the Bible. So just remember that. Because the Bantu people, we know they're already there in, this, in the southern part of Africa. Okay, from Ethiopia down. Bunch of people are, you know, are over there. Right now, as we speak, people are still waiting in Europe and United States. Ah, he's going to still come and pick us up. No, no, no. He is not coming to pick you up here. We are all here, but we know where we belong. We know where the Bantus are now. We're going to go back in there when it's time. And we'll know when it's time. It's not yet time. We're still preaching to everybody else in the States and everywhere in the world. But when the time comes, we've got to stop. We will know. You will know if you are in the States doing some evangelistic kind of thing too. You will know. Okay. We all have different roles to edify others. We, you know, we uplift each other. We point each other to the right direction. Okay. That's what we are here for. So here, so now here are some clues that I'm showing you that he wasn't 50 anyway. But anyway, what they're having there is the fake sinners as they know. Okay, but in my personal opinion, I don't think he died before. I mean, those people say, you are not yet 50. You're not yet. That means he was probably 40 something close to 50, but they say you're not yet 50. But anyway, this is not important. The most, most important thing that I want to share is T'Challa. T'Challa, they're trying to show Msindis. Okay, they got a fake Msindis there. So if you happen to have a dream, verify it with the scripture. It has to agree with scripture. Scripture as in. The things that the old prophets said and the things that John and Revelations say. Two books in the New Testament. That's only two books by the apostles, okay? By one of the twelve. Every other is Paul and doctors and Roman puppets. You don't want to just believe those, okay? Because that's subject to deception. There's truth in them. There's false in them. So, so you don't want to just read that because you must stumble across the false and you think it's truth. So the ones you can read for sure to get scripture is the book of John. In the beginning was the word, that one, and revelations in the New Testament. And then you skip over to the old, the whole Old Testament. You can read and glean scripture from there. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I say scripture. Okay, so compare with that kind of writing with scripture. 
Okay, I've got a video out there differentiating between what scripture was Bible. Okay, there's Bible and there's scripture. A lot of people criticize scripture using Bible writings. You cannot do that. Those are two separate things. Okay, I'm getting into something else now. You can get into my watch my other video that's saying difference between scripture and Bible. Okay, so you don't go out there arguing uh, scripture using Bible writings. Okay, if somebody here, say down the street two blocks from you, is saying something. And then somebody who was walking, staying with this guy, is saying something different. Who are you going to believe? The hearsay Paul, Dr. Luke, or Mark, the scribe? No. Oh, my father and Mike, Mark, they, they, were, they were hearsay. They were just there then. But somebody who walked with him, John. Okay? And somebody who Usonin spoke to in the Old Testament, all the prophets in there. Okay? So just find scripture over there. Okay? And then you compare with whatever you dream of, whatever you think since he told you, compare with that. All right? Because they, 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 now we can see that in M. Cutting, they have a fake sinners over there through this movie. Okay? Now let's look at the city, Wakanda city. Okay? This city, they talk about it's a fictitious city. It's a fictitious, and they even, even have an area where it is it. Okay? It's just next to Ethiopia over there, somewhere, you know, Kenya and there. So, they say it's a fictitious, which I don't think is a fictitious city. I think it's a city in the underground, in the underworld. Now, remember, the underworld is a world that we cannot see, okay? It's a world, those, the witch, witches, witchcraft, they teleport into, okay? So, some, some, they use a broom, some, they use, whatever, they use a bread, some, they use whatever they, they pick up in the house, and then they do whatever into it, and then they teleport. So, they use whatever that thing is a portal into some other other world that's invisible okay so that's called witchcraft and Sonin hates that anyway you, you all know that so now when they teleport into this world using whatever they find in the house as a portal now that they teleport into the wakanda now they cannot say it's a fictitious because that's because we cannot see it and we don't want to go there it's not fictitious if you read about this wakanda and all the details about it You'll see, oh man, what, the stuff that they've been doing there, the stuff that they're really actually doing in real life. I mean, they're using vibrate some, some, um, some mineral they call vibratum that is mined somewhere in the south of Africa. And I think it's El Dorado, somewhere there. So the, this, um, this vibratum, it gives them, it gives this city, this what kind of city, some kind of power that it makes it, um, it, it gives them an ability to absorb energy. You know, absorb energy and vibration. Okay, I I assume then they, they probably have a very strong army, very strong. You know, so they you can read about it. You'll see. I mean, it's 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 a real city somewhere in the underground because they got cities everywhere under the sea, under everywhere. It's called underground. So that is not a fictitious city. I can tell you that. It's just that it's probably located up there where it's pointed at right now. That's where it's pointed. It's, it's located. So it's it's pointed. It's, it's located just close where the children's right cities start. Okay, so that they can target the children. Because the the point here, the whole target, the whole goal of the devil is to is to get the children's right as many as they can because they are the ones that can be saved. Okay, if you're not part of children's right, you are not getting any salvation. I'm sorry to break it down to you like that because. You have to be in the fig tree. That's it. If you're not, you can't. Okay? So these people are trying to um, set up their hubs so they can infiltrate into the children's Israel world, into the children's Israel, and get as many children's Israel as they can. Okay? So that so that Mkatini is one of the cities that they have. Okay? I don't, I don't think at all it is. I mean, I call him Mkatini, Wakanda. I don't think that Wakanda is a fictitious at all. If you read about it and read what's going on in there, in real life, now, they say, you know, it's still fiction writing. I, I don't think it's fiction writing. Because that fiction writing is something that's happening in real life somewhere else. Okay? There's no smoke without fire. I know nobody can create something like fictitious like that. And it's got a whole lot of history behind it. Okay? Now, let's look at even the symbolism of this Wakanda. I mean, look at... It, it's, it's a cross. Okay? It's an armed cross. That's how you Wakanda... You, if you saw the movie... If you haven't seen the movie, it's best you see it so you can understand what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to promote it, but I'm trying to promote your knowledge. Because this stuff is revealed to you. You have to know. My people... Should, Amos. Amos. Um, the prophet Amos... Is told by Sonin. Sonin says to Amos, hey, sorry, Amos, man, my people perish because of lack of 
knowledge. You have to get the knowledge. And now you can get the knowledge through watching this stuff. And you can see they are revealing things through these movies. Okay. Not saying worship the idols, the actors, because that's now idolizing, idolatry. You know, you're not idolizing these folks. You're just seeing the contents and information that they're giving you. Okay. And you see, oh, okay. So this is what's going on in the dark world. All right. So now look at the X. That's the X, right? X, symbol X. Now think about it. Remember in the Revelation 16, 30, um, so coming out of the mouth of dragon, mouth of the beast, mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits as frogs. Now a frog or a toad, okay? A toad is a frog, some kind of a frog, okay? Now that toad is called Ikoko. Okay, I've got another video. This slide is from the other video as well, which says, I titled it, I think I did it two years ago. I titled it um, Deception Behind Gold Gold or Gold Gold Deception or something like that. But if you Google, if you put it on YouTube and try to Google it over there, you'll find it. It's showing you what the deception behind it called that XO X is talking about. Hi, hugging kids. No, it ain't no hugging kids. It's a, it's a, you are giving, um, you are giving honor to this Gold Gold people the talk or the 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 reptilians or i'm a talk or they, they got those spirits of the very dirty you know i mean it's it's a very dirty animal okay it's a very filthy not just dirty, it's a filthy animal so it talk is a toad okay and then now that sign the sign by the um by by the wakanda it's exactly that the toad it's an x you remember it now Wakanda. So when you walk around, don't be giving honor and talking about Because I can see here a lot of teenagers, a lot of a lot of black people here. They think that you're getting united when they identify with it. Wakanda, Wakanda X, Wakanda. They be greeting each other now using Wakanda. They get so caught up so easy. That's why Usonini said, you know what, people, don't mix with nations. Because nations will take you away from your seeds, from your basics, from your original, from your roots. Your roots that he created, that Usonini created, those roots. Because now once you start mixing, mingling with nations, now in, I'm talking about in the United States. Because there's a whole lot of different other nations in here. And they get you caught up and you get carried away with all different other rituals that they be doing. So do not get caught up with this unity of ah, brother forever, brother forever, what kind of forever. Don't do none of that because it's giving honor to XO, XO. I'm like, oh, oh, those toad, those three spirits of your, because everything, they're trying to give themselves an honor, okay? Don't be part of that. Don't take part of that, okay? Now, y'all remember, you know, because a lot of people think that just because you're a closer person, you are pure. No, a lot of the closer people do witchcraft. Okay, that is why in the beginning of the olden days, they were punished, okay? Bantu people, not just close, a bunch of people were all punished because they were doing a whole lot of things. And now they're still doing exactly the same thing, some of them. Okay, some of them are good. Some of them, they're still doing exactly the same thing. Because some people say, oh, but because a lot of people be come, coming talking about, but because of people are doing uh, ancestor stuff. I said, yeah, sure, those are pagans. Cosa people, there are Cosa people that are doing pagan stuff. I mean, there's witchcraft everywhere. Why would they be punished in the ancient days than if they were, they were all pure? There's still those people, those remnants, those people who still doing this stuff. They, they were doing and getting, getting punished in the past. Okay? So just try and remember that this movie and every other movie is showing you what's going on in the underground, what these witches are doing in the background. It's, it's a revelation of information. Just look at it. It's a very beautiful movie. I watched it. I liked it. It's a good movie. But I like it on the perspective of entertainment, just to see, oh, okay, it's a good movie. It's a nice, I mean, I like it. It's cinematography. It's good. It's art. You know, I like it in that perspective. But not to honor them actors. No, you don't honor the mentors. You just like the things that you're looking at. and You don't honor the lifestyle. You don't want to be part of that. You must always remember your father is Sonin Nanini and his rules are in the scripture. That's all you do. If he didn't, if he didn't say go around greeting people with an X, don't do symbols. Just do what he asks you because that's the only father you got. None of this other stuff. All right? Okay.